Hello again, uh, Donny Kebab here today. Seems like we're going to run out of battery again, very annoying. But anyway, I'm going to be reviewing these two microphones today. You might have seen the single reviews of each one, but I uh, thought I'd do a review of, of the two together. So, um, this is the Canon DM50, which retails about 100, and, I think I got it for about 150, probably about 130 pounds now on Amazon. Um, and that uh, this one's all hot shoot automatic, no battery really in there, it all powers off the camera, so that's good. Um, problem is a little bit too close to the camera, so you sometimes get a bit of tape noise or interference. So plus or minus really. This is the recommended Canon one for this can camera, the Canon HV20. Um, but I will also be comparing it with the Rode video mic, which uh, has got the uh, the uh, absorbance, so it will absorb any sort of noise or anything like that. You can mount it on top of the camera, but you can also mount it further away externally. Um, I've got the uh, the X grip, which you may have seen the review for, which I'm going to try uh, mounting this on that, so it's a bit further from the camera, really. Um, and this one obviously retails about 80 quid, so I mean, this is newer than this, so I don't know, maybe better. We're going to see. So what I'll do is I will do a little video with both. So I will do a video with the onboard mic. And then I will video with this one, with the HDM50, and then with the video mic. So you'll be able to see, I'll put something at the bottom, you'll be able to see the different clips and see what you think, really. Uh, see which mic's going to be best for you. For me, this one's cheaper, and this one, I think, was better because it's external, but we'll, we'll see. Hello, Danny Kebab here again. How's it going? This is an audio test with the Canon HV20 with the onboard microphone. Uh, the can continuity of this video is not great, obviously I filmed some of it outside and now it's dark and I'm filming it inside but you're still going to get a good idea of the difference in the audio levels. Hello Donny Kebab here again, this is a sound check using the Rode video mic on the Canon HV20 so we can compare the difference between this and the onboard mic um, the onboard mic generally picks up quite a lot of tape noise, so for me I'm interested to hear this, but hopefully we will not hear any tape noise on this microphone, on the Rode video mic. It's nice because it mounts on the top and it's got a sort of, a sort of gyro system where it can move around and absorb the movement and sound hopefully, so we will see. This is mounted directly on the top of the camera, so I'll hopefully bring up a picture like here or something that will show you. Uh, how it looks, but yeah, so just to check the difference in sound quality really. The Rode video mic has two settings on the back, well three settings on the back. Obviously you put in a battery from like a smoke alarm, so one of those little square uh, rectangular jobbies, and um, it will obviously be off, and then you switch it on to setting one, which is what we're on now, just to do a test to see uh, what the differences are. So there's setting 1 which we're on now and then there's a setting called 80 Hertz which I will check in a moment for you. Right, we're using the Rode video mic on the 80 Hertz setting. As I said before there are two settings. There's one called just one and there's one called 80 Hertz. Um, I haven't really researched what they do. I might put some text up on the screen when I have done that. But I just wanted to do a test of both settings just to see what the difference is. Hello again, this is a sound check with the Canon HV20 camera and the uh, DM50 Canon microphone. So this is a, the microphone attached on the top, it works with the hot shoe, so it picks it all up, does auto levels, everything like that. And um, this is in the shotgun mode, so you can get a comparison. Right, this is the DM50 hot shoe mic in stereo 1 mode. This is now the DM50 hot shoe mic in stereo 2 mode, so just so you can get a feel for that, what the differences are. Not quite sure, it's probably a wider catchment. Um, I will try and get some shots of these outside at some point so you can see or hear the difference of those. Right, this is the DM50 hot shoe mic again on the top of the Canon HV20 camera. Um, again, I just this is in the shotgun mode. This is what I generally use. I film a number of school plays, weddings, bits and pieces like that. So this I find is the best setting for this microphone at the moment. Um, not sure if you pick up on the sound at all at the moment, but I sometimes find it picks up a little bit of tape noise from the camera. 
which is obviously not ideal, but um, what can you do? You don't tend to notice it too much, um, but yeah, it's always going to be a slight issue, I think. So we're using the uh, Rode video mic again and uh, this is just mounted again on the top of the camera so that's probably how you'd normally have it set up. Um, this is just to try again, I just wanted to compare it to the HV50 really. So this is a similar looking, similar distance from the actual camera body as the HDM50 mic um, but I'm hoping when we check the footage back that we will not get any tape noise interference on that so that is the uh, the bonus I'm going for and obviously the price is a good difference this one's about £79 I believe whereas the other one when I bought it was about £150 so you've got quite a price difference there and uh, the Rode mic is much bigger mic and it seems to have a lot more buffer on the, on the outside like the foam stuff um, so it shouldn't pick up too much interference which is great but yeah so that's our comparisons for today I will cut back to me outside again to continuity action and um, that should be the end of our review for today alright thanks guys bye bye right so you've just watched some reviews a review of the DM50 and the Rode video mic and I hope that's helped you make up your mind of what you might want to buy. Budget wise is probably better. Again I don't know about sound quality, that's something uh, we're going to have to ascertain afterwards when I'm editing it. We'll see which one looks better, maybe put a rating on the end or something, but just uh, to review them both really as you know. So obviously the onboard, the DM50 and the Rode video mic. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, I hope that's helpful and uh, I'll catch you around. Bye bye. Kebab here, how's it going? I'm just doing a quick review for you today on the Opteca X Grip, which is a, I don't know if you can see that there, I'm gonna have to put a picture, picture up. Um, 